Hey second graders, today we are going to do a directed draw with Marie Curie. And Marie Curie was a scientist. Um, and in her time, it wasn't very common to go to school. So she ended up moving to Paris so that she could study um, and go to college. And she ended up discovering two elements on our periodic table, radium and polonium. Um, along with her husband. Um, so very important. Um, let's get started. So again, I'm gonna go about four fingers down to do her nose, and I'm just gonna make a little round curve like this for her nose. And I'm gonna have this kind of curve down, but this side is gonna curve up, okay? And then I'm gonna draw the bridge of her nose right here. And this is gonna give me the placement for her eyes. So right over here, I'm gonna make a little curve. That eye and one over here for the other eye. And right above that, I'm gonna give kind of a little curve for her eyelid. And I'm gonna make a curve for the bottom, but I'm not going to connect it. So it's just gonna come just like that on both sides, a little curve, but they're not connected on the sides. And then I'm gonna make a circle right in the middle for her iris on both sides. And then I'm gonna make her pupil kind of looking that way. So it's gonna be up here in that right-hand corner of the eye on both eyes. And I'm gonna color those in. And she's gonna be kind of turned. Um, so we're not gonna see much on this side, but we are gonna have an ear over here. So her eyebrows, we're gonna go up over the eyes and I'm gonna make them very thin. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So I'm gonna do them very lightly and thin. She's gonna have a little petite face. That means small. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna come down kind of where her cheek would be for the chin, up, and I'm gonna stop kind of where the top of her nose is, right here. I'm gonna add in her ear. So I'm gonna go from the eye up, curved over and connect to that part. I'm gonna add some texture in here and make her ear. And then I can get back to her face. So right here, I'm gonna make a little line from her nose down and I'm gonna make her mouth and it's gonna be just like a flattened M curved and a little lip under and I can connect them. And then she wore her hair kind of up and pulled back. So I'm going to start with her hairline and I'm going to just draw a light hairline that just kind of curves around and comes down to kind of connect that ear to ear. And over here, right where we connected that line, I'm going to draw kind of a curve that comes in and I'm just going to keep doing curves like that that just come in and it can go up over that name and be really poofy and curved just like this. And then from here, I'm gonna connect it to kind of where her cheek would be. And then right here, I'm gonna do just the bottom, the earlobe of her ear, kind of curved in. Okay. And then with my marker, I'm just gonna go in and kind of pull her hair, make some lines back. And then I can add some lines in here as well, okay? And from here I can draw her neck. I'm just gonna do a little lines that curve down. And she's going to be wearing kind of like an old fashioned black dress. So I'm going to make a V that's gonna come a little bit up from her neck like this, just like that, okay? Then I can curve that back into her neck. And I'll take this shoulder and I'll come down 
from here, same thing on this side. You can add little lines right there as well. Okay, and now that we have her drawn, we can get started on the coloring. So I'm going to take my apricot or peach colored crayon and I'm gonna color in her skin all the way down. Don't forget her ear and her little ear lobe all the way down. I can even go over her lips. And I'll add a little pink to her lips too. And then don't forget her neck. And again, you can always pause if you need to, to color. Okay. I'm gonna make her eyes kind of like a little hazelish brownish green. You can add in a little bit of green in there. Add a little bit of pink on her lips. And then for her hair, I'm going to do it kind of a dark brown. So I'm going to take my regular brown like this and I'm going to color in all of her hair. take my black and I'm just gonna go lightly throughout her hair with that black. I'm not coloring it in but I'm just adding some lines in there kind of make it like a darker brown. Give it a little more shape. Okay. For her dress I'm going to do all black. So I'm gonna come in here I'm gonna color that part and I'm going to color her whole dress black. Again, you can pause, color it in. Fast forward to see the colors and then pause. And then again, you can add some fun stuff to the back, any science stuff to the background that you want. Maybe a radioactive sign whatever you want to the background to make it really fun for your calendar. There you go, we're all done, great job.